people are either really comfortable with wine and with wine tasting and know exactly what they like when they walk in, or they literally have no clue, maybe have never been wine tasting and not quite sure about the whole process. I think the first one is just knowing some of the verbiage, um, like a wine flight. A lot of people aren't sure what a wine flight is. And a wine flight is just a sequence of wines. It could be all red, it could be all white, it could be a little bit of both. If you're going to do a whole wine tour, take a little bit of time to check out people's websites so that you're making sure you're going to visit a winery that makes wines in a style that you like or that you're interested in learning more about. I only recommend visiting maybe three, four wineries max in one day because those tastes of wine really start adding up quickly. Glasses are really meant to be held by their stem. Um, that way you're not heating up the wine by holding the bowl um, and also getting all your smudgy fingerprints all over it. When you're tasting wine, you start out by looking at it um, and you taste with your eyes first. So you want to be able to see the color. Wine glasses, even though they feel smooth, they're actually not. There's little imperfections in the glass. And so when you're swirling, you're releasing the aromatics in the wine. Um, if you're not real comfortable with swirling, you can put it back down on the table and give it a little swirl down here. That keeps all the wine from sloshing out everywhere. Or if you're feeling a little bit more prepared, you can have it up here and give it a nice swirl and then give it a big long sniff. You'll notice by smelling the wine before you swirl it and then smelling it after you swirl it how much more open those aromas are. Um, and you can really taste a lot of differences to it. Then you're gonna wanna give a nice, uh, a nice sip. Now, this is where a real serious wine drinker might spit. There's nothing wrong with spitting. It actually helps you be able to taste more wines throughout the day. Um, you also will taste different flavors when you spit versus when you swallow. We don't add any weird, funky things to the wines. So if someone tells you that this wine has aromas of pear and apricot and melon, those are just flavors and aromas that naturally exist in the grapes themselves. I wouldn't be chewing on chewing gum right before I go wine tasting. You kind of just want to make sure that your palate is just kind of there. You know, I think it's also just important to be open to the different wines. You never know when you're going to find something that you like. It's only a little one ounce, one and a half ounce taste. So, and wineries certainly are not going to be offended if you don't taste the entire wine. Asking some questions, you know, asking about the grapes and where they came from and, and asking about, you know, soil types and things, those are all questions that anybody behind the bar should be ready to answer at any time. We want you to have a good time.